the catch, the shot, the rotation, and three of the Mets fans. Often, that's the result for Cassius Robertson. Remember, he's the transfer from Canisius, who's the designated shooter. He's a graduate transfer. He's so good at shooting, his first name lends itself to an easy nickname. Nothing but cash from Cassius. But the art of the shot wasn't so easy for the Toronto native. I mean, I'm still developing it. Um, it's, it's really um, like a chase for perfection, really. Damn, he's on fire! I was a really hard-headed kid when I was young, so I, I didn't really listen to anybody teaching me how to do this or do that, so I kind of had a really funky shot. I kind of like had my elbow out to here, and you can still kind of see that I put my hand over the ball like this when I shoot the ball. Um, my form was all messed up um, when I was young. His funky shot was the result of a kid who grew up loving basketball in a land not exactly known for the sport. Toronto is hockey country, but Cassius loved the Raptors, not the Maple Leafs. The NBA's only franchise north of the border fueled the young Robertson's desire to put the ball in the basket, not the puck in the net. 19,000 on their feet here at the Air Canada Centre. It means so much. Um, they really started like a movement, um, and they do so much for uh, kids in the city too, um, giving them opportunities um, to play ball and camps and stuff like that too. I mean, I fell in love with the Raptors um, pretty young, so and the only reason people called me a shooter was because that's all I did. As I, I just shot the ball, I didn't shoot a good percentage, but I just, you know, I just that's all I did. Proximity to the states gave Cassius his chance to fix his funky shot. Canisius College in nearby Buffalo, New York, just an hour and a half from his native Toronto gave him a scholarship, and during his redshirt freshman season, Robertson went on a mission. That's when I realized, like, I really got to, you know, fix this. Um, it took, like, I want to say probably three, three good solid months of being in the gym every single night. And, you know, I would shoot, like, maybe, like, 600, 700 shots every night. He figured it out. Cassius shot better than 40% from three-point range during his three years at Canisius. I've studied a lot of the great shooters, um, and if they're a right-hand shooter, it's kind of on the right side of their, their face, so their elbow's in line with their knee, their elbow's under the ball, um, instead of kind of, mine was like tilted like this, so the power would be a little off, accuracy could be off. The main thing that, that I changed, I have to have the ball on my shot line, which means um, I used to shoot the ball in the middle of my face, so my elbow would be kind of tilted, um, and the ball would kind of be in line in the middle of my body. Put in those months where I just had to memorize to do it. And sometimes still, when I miss, I know I'll be, okay, my shot was a little bit to the left, maybe a little bit too far to the right. The perfect shot is a daily process. Any shooter will tell you that. Cassius works every day to tweak, change, perfect. Shooters appreciate other shooters who's got the best shot of all time. I mean, I, uh, man, I gotta go with Steph. I mean, he's, that's my guy. That's my guy on and off the court. Someone I definitely look up to. Someone I tried to copy his form, but you can't. The way he shoots is something that's been embedded in, in him from a young child, so um, you can't just learn that in a year. What is that feeling like when things are going right? It is falling and, and you're really in a good groove shooting the basketball. One of the reasons I play basketball is no, no better feeling. Um, and, you know, going out there and seeing that thing go through the net like that, 